Hello and welcome back. One of the things that can be a barrier to prayer is feeling really tense or stressed or anxious, which I suspect most of us are feeling at the moment. So one of the exercises I thought I'd like to share with you is how to still yourself for prayer, how to be relaxed and as aware as you can be of your body and how you are. Quite often that involves giving our brain something to do so that our heart can have some space. Because in my experience, it's your heart that is involved in prayer more than your brain. And the exercise that I particularly enjoy and use quite a lot is called bone breathing, which I know sounds really odd, but I'd like to invite you to take part in that now. Now you can do this at home either lying down, flat on your back, facing upwards, or on a seat. And again, it'd be good if your legs are uncrossed and your feet are on the floor and your arms are just resting by your side or on your lap. Or you can even do it standing up, whatever's most comfortable for you. You might light a candle to remind you that God is present. And I'm going to lead you through this, and if it helps you, you might have your eyes closed as well. So I invite you, first of all, to visualise or imagine openings in the ends of your toes on your right foot. Breathe out, and then on the in-breath, imagine or visualise the breath coming in through your toes, through the bones of the foot, and draw the breath up through the centre of the bones to the hip. And on the out breath, breathe out down the centre of the bones and out through the toes. Try and do that really slowly. And I invite you to do it three times. And now I invite you to imagine openings in the ends of your toes on your left foot. Breathe out and then on the in-breath, imagine the breath coming in through the toes, through the bones of the foot and draw the breath up through the centre of the bones to the hip. And then on the out-breath, breathe out down the centre of the bones and out through the toes. Again, try doing this slowly three times. Then I invite you to breathe up through your left leg to the centre of your pelvis and out through the right leg. Try doing this three times. It forms a bridge between the legs and you become aware of the pelvis connected to the spine and the legs connected to the pelvis. And now it just takes some time to breathe normally. And now I'd like to invite you to do something similar with your arms. To imagine the end of your fingers open. And breathe out and then on the in-breath, breathe into the fingers of your right hand and up to your shoulder and out down the arm and out of the fingers. Try doing that three times. And 
And then similarly for your left arm, imagine your fingers open, breathe out and then on the in-breath, breathe into your fingers on your left hand and up to the shoulder and out down the arm and out of the fingers. Try doing that three times. And now I invite you to breathe in up through your left arm to the centre of the collarbone and breathe out through the right arm and then in through the right and out through the left, repeating all this three times. you to pause to breathe normally. And now I invite you to start at the base of your spine. Breathe in through and up the spine, coming out of the crown of your head and over the outside of your head between the eyebrows. And then to breathe out down the face, into your mouth and over the top of the spine and down to your pelvis. Try doing that three times. Again, I invite you to pause to breathe normally. And finally, I'd like to invite you to breathe from the spine, in and around each side of the rib cage to the breastbone, and out from the breastbone around each side of the ribs back to the spine. Again, repeating three times. The advantage of these videos is that you can repeat this whenever you need it to bring some stillness and calm and it may be a good preparation for prayer or conversation with God if you're a person of belief.